So today is the day many of you, maybe some of you, have been waiting for. Earlier today, OnePlus unveiled their latest flagship, or their only device right now, the OnePlus 5. Um, it kind of stacks up with all of the rumors and reports and all the leaks as far as what it'll look like, what it'll offer, different things. Uh, of course, their main focus is their dual camera system. They feel like they've gotten it right this time because uh, I guess previous models have been lacking in one way or another. So we're going to recap everything that was unveiled about the phone and then drop our two cents based off some of the things we've seen already from the phone because a lot of the reviews are already out. So as far as specs goes, you have a unibody design with brushed aluminum, the slim 7.2. 25 millimeter profile with rounded corners. Unfortunately, it still has 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display with a 169 aspect ratio. So no QHD, although some of you probably had your fingers crossed or was waiting for it, but no go again. Uh, powered by latest Snapdragon 835 CPU, and you have the option of six gigs of RAM with 64 gigs of storage or eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. You still have the headphone jack, you have USB-C now, and a 3300 milliamp battery with their faster dash charge, which offers a day's power in a half an hour. It rhymes, this is their slogan, this is how they said it. It's not me, I promise. Uh, it's running the new Oxygen OS on top of Android 7.1.1 Nougat, so for the most part, it's kind of the same. They've added a lot of uh, a lot of those things. So, and then you have a reading mode, which you know, of course, dims the light, so it's not that harsh and turns everything black and white. And then you have a do not disturb option for when you are gaming. So, very interesting takes on that. Very interesting. So, now to what everybody wants to know about the camera. So, they've adopted the dual the dual lens setup that Apple has made infamous or famous, depending on who you look at. Um, so the main shooter is the f1.7 16 megapixel Sony sensor, and the second sensor is the f2.6 20 megapixel Sony sensor. Uh, the second one acts like a telephoto lens that offers up to 2x optical zoom. Uh, you can use both lenses in portrait mode to get that DSLR bokeh, uh, which focuses on the subject and blurs the background. Um, you also have a new pro mode that let you, you know, take advantage of manual options, uh, shooting in raw and all that good stuff. And then you also have uh, f 2.0, uh, 16 megapixel front facing camera. So they really want to focus on that. There are a few things that are missing, of course. You don't have 240 frames per second slow motion. Um, you do have 120, 120 frames per second slow motion, but it's only in 720p. You don't have optical immunization in 4K. So based off of what I've seen in the camera department, um, actually on OnePlus the site. The camera seems like it's gotten better, but it's still not at the level of, you know, S8 or iPhone or Pixel. Their marketing campaigns have had the highest resolution dual camera system and doing all that, and they feel they nailed it. Uh, it just seems like the on image processing side, it just does not, it's just not up to par. So the OnePlus 5 doesn't appear to be a flagship killer, even though they're not using that term anymore, even though everybody holds on to it. Uh, they're just striving to be a competitor. Their tagline is never settle, but we're now at the fourth iteration of OnePlus and it still seems like you're settling on something. So if you're getting a great fast experience, great battery life, but you're, you know, you don't have a QHD display, which, which is, you know, which isn't that big of a deal, but for some people that's a deal breaker. You have four times to get your camera right. It's gotten better, but it's still not up to the standards of, of you know, paying a few, uh, paying a hundred dollars more to get another flagship where I can get a good camera. They have a loyal following. I hope you guys who are part of that loyal following will enjoy it. So the OnePlus 5 starts at $479 for the 6 gig RAM, 64 gig storage, and 539 for the 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. Um, it'll be on sale June 27th. You have the available options of Midnight Black or Slate Gray. Get your pre-orders right now if it's still open uh, via early drop. You'll need the code. The code is clear photos. So if you've done that, and if you're in the New York City area today at, uh, I think it's at 7 o'clock, um, they're going to have a pop-up event with MKBHD or whatever, so, to, you know, they'll talk about it and that's it for that. Uh, let us know if you're going to pick up a OnePlus 5. Uh, thanks for watching. You could have been anywhere, anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. Take care.